So today I'm going to show you how I use this Deluxe Cordless Mini Mixer from Norpro. Um, I just got it in the mail. It helps me mix up the paints a little easier. It comes with a bunch of little attachments. I don't know what each one of them does, but I mainly use the metal whisk part and then also the little plastic one. So the golden anthraquinone blue has been really hard for me to get the cap open and also to mix into the Floetrol. It's really hard. It takes a lot of work to get that mixed in thoroughly. So I figured this would be the ultimate test. So I started with the the whisk attachment here just to see what that would do. And I just put a little bit of um, Floetrol in the bottom just like I would normally mixing. And I kind of pulsed it around a little bit and it seemed like it was blending pretty quickly. Obviously this introduces a lot of air bubbles. You might have to let your paint sit for an extra day or so, but I don't care because my wrist hurts a lot and I can't really mix paints very easily, so for me it's worth it. At least for me, there's been times that I couldn't even really paint after I finished mixing a few cups of paint because then my wrist and my uh, hand would hurt so bad that I can't really hold the cup to paint, so that really stinks. So this is what I was deciding to try. I figure, worst case, it doesn't work, but it was worth a shot. So we'll just keep mixing and I'll fast forward this a little bit, but just added some more Floetrol and then decided to see what this little thingy does. And it doesn't really seem to mix as well as the whisk does. And if you get it anywhere above the surface, it kind of splashed it a little bit more everywhere. So I don't think I'll be using that one as much. So I'll just keep using the whisk. So after I finished mixing this one up, I decided to check it for lumps and not really seeing any. I mean, you can see the air bubbles are in there, of course, but um, maybe I could have mixed it just a little bit more at the, at the base, but it pretty much is pretty smooth compared to what I would do by hand anyway, so I think it worked out pretty well. So I decided to mix up another color, and this one it's going to be an Arteza color. Um, it's just sage green, I think. And this one is usually a little easier to mix up than the golden paint, but just figured I would try it again. I was going to use that attachment, but then I changed my mind and decided to just stick with the whisk because I know that works out pretty well. Um, as long as you hold it in, in the cup pretty firmly at the bottom, um, and when you first add just a little bit of Floetrol, it didn't seem to splash anywhere, and then I slowly added it, it seemed to be fine. So I thought this could be useful for other people. I know that for a year I mixed by hand and it really wasn't fun. So I don't know how long this thing will last. So far, so good, but I'll let you know if it breaks anytime soon. But it was about $12, so really not that much. So here I'm looking for chunks again and I don't see any. You can see a little bit better here, all the air bubbles, but I don't really use my paint the day I mix them anyway. There's too many air bubbles by hand. Um, so here I also tried to add a little bit more to the already mixed paint, which doesn't usually work out very well when you add another blob to already mixed paint, but this has no problem with it. So just don't lift it up too high or it will splash everywhere. But just wanted to share this new gadget that I found with everybody in case um, you found it helpful. 